What's up guys, KG, Rough to Be Buff TV. We are back with another exercise tutorial today. I got nine different exercises for you. I want you to do them all in succession, but here's the catch. We are not going for repetitions and we are not going for time. You're going to go based on feel. So take each exercise right up to failure. You have to maintain form and then move on to the next exercise. I hope you guys enjoy the vlog. Smash that like button, subscribe if you're new around here. Thank you so much for tuning in. Okay, so for the first exercise guys, all you're going to need is a dumbbell, straight arms. We are working on a weighted dumbbell crunch. The whole idea of the weighted dumbbell crunch is to get a good contraction in the core. We are not using that dumbbell to sway ourselves up. That is going to negate the whole idea of using the weight to add extra load to your midsection. Nothing fancy here. We are just trying to get a good crunch and nice and slow on the way down. Really feel your abs squeeze down, a really hard contraction, and then slowly lower yourself. Like I said at the beginning of the video, you do not have to do a specific amount of repetitions. You do not have to go for a specific amount of time. Go until you feel a good burn or a good activation, almost till failure, and then move on to the next exercise. The next exercise we're looking at here is a hollow hold. So you're gonna crunch up with the upper body. You're gonna connect the thighs, bring your feet together as if they were one leg and stay tight in the hollow position. You can see my body is kind of in the shape of like a banana or like a smile because this is our happy place. This is where we enjoy being. Um, and you're just going to statically hold. All we're doing is squeezing those thighs, flexing those thighs, abs are burning, move on to the next exercise. Hollow holds are complete. So moving on, next exercise we are looking at here. Oh, really quick, give yourself an overhead ab stretch. This just feels amazing. Try to get a little arch in that low back and let those rib, cage, rib cages flare. Totally fine, I like to do that in between my exercises for a small stretch just to kind of elongate the muscle group. We are now moving into hollow rocks. Now hollow rocks are basically like a hollow hold, but obviously we're adding movement. My hands are behind my head supporting my neck. My feet are, are together. Remember my eight legs are acting as one. This entire movement is initiated by whipping your heels to the ground. There is no pulling on the back of my head or using my upper torso so to get the movement started, it's all about whipping your heels in the direction of the floor. That is the most important part and it's a super, super difficult exercise um, if you do enough of them, especially now that we're you know, doing them in succession with other exercises. Okay, this is an advanced exercise for sure. So we have a bird dog reach. What we're trying to do here is balance connect the elbow to the knee. This is not an easy exercise. I will give you other exercises um, as far as digress versions of this. Um, but we are connecting that elbow and reaching out nice and long. Um, we don't have to do a whole lot of repetitions here. I think I'm probably only doing 10. Um, we don't wanna have our butt too high. That's another big thing. And just working on stabilizing. Once you reach out and you're able to stabilize, then bring that elbow back in, connect it to the knee, and then just get as much extension as you possibly can. You can see my, my chin is down, I'm not looking up. We are reaching out as long as we can, getting a little fire in that right glute. Like I said, you are going to have a difficult time maintaining balance here. This is not an easy movement. I'm only doing, I think, eight or 10 or 12 repetitions total. That is the bird dog, advanced bird dog reach. So moving on into the next exercise, we are going into, what do we got? Oh, side planks, side planks. So side planks, scissors, okay? Side planks with a leg scissor. We are lifting the hip and we are raising the top leg. Slowly dropping down, we are raising the hip and then lifting that top leg. Awesome exercise for your obliques, your serratus. It will fatigue the shoulders, so if you don't have very strong shoulders, that bottom shoulder that's acting as a base will fatigue. Um, the best thing you can do here is just stack all your joints, your shoulder over shoulder, hip over hip, knee over knee, and ankle over ankle. 
And then you're just raising that hip to the roof and as soon as you get into that extension, you feel your abs kind of flex fire there at the bottom, raise that top leg. This will get your butt burning as well. Your glutes are part of your core, if you didn't know that. So um, this is going to get your glutes firing. So slowly lowering here, we're trying to get a little stretch on that bottom part uh, by the ribs and right above the hip bone. So stretch, kick up, flex, and then kick that top leg up. This is side plank to scissor, or some people would call it hip abduction, but it's easier just to call them side plank scissors because your legs are acting like scissors. Really tough exercise, lateral stability, lateral flexion exercise. I love side planking. I like all variations of planks. They're all super duper effective. Okay. So after the side planks, you're gonna go back to the original side and you're gonna bang out pulses. I think I'm doing like a set of 30. I, I usually get between 25 to 40 before I really start feeling my abs kind of burning. Um, but this, you're gonna pick up the pace here. Obviously we're not going into scissoring, we are just going into pulses. High repetitions, lots of rep, lots and lots of reps, and go quick. It's okay to move fast. It's okay to move slow. There are slow twitch fibers, there are fast twitch fibers in the body, and it is good to vary your speeds. It is extremely important to vary your speeds of every exercise as long as you can maintain your mechanics, your structure, and your form. You should not be doing things fast if you don't have very good stability. So we should always start doing things Slow, that is correct. Going slow is the best bet when you are first starting and adding speed once you start feeling like you're um, getting better at the exercise. Okay, this is gonna suck. This is basically a renegade row hold, okay? So I'm getting into a three-point stance, hand, foot, foot, and then I'm going to pull the dumbbell, drive my elbow to the roof, and just hold. I think I'm doing 30 seconds here. This super, super sucks, especially after getting, I'm checking the time here, getting all the other exercises in before this. Just drive the elbow to the roof and stay still. I believe this is a 20 pound dumbbell that I'm working with. You guys can start with any denomination of dumbbell that you want. It does not matter as long as you feel uh, the exercise is working and your form is good. As always, we're gonna switch sides. Um, an underrated exercise. I know people have seen the renegade rows where you're kind of alternating and rowing with each dumbbell in each hand. Um, but I like the static exercises, the ones where you have to stay still in very, very difficult positions. I feel like they've made me a better athlete. Um, as I've gotten older and started working in different variations of planking, um, and there's so much going on here. Your lats firing, your rear delts, your shoulders, your triceps are going. Make sure you keep your hips tucked. Not an easy exercise. My abs are burning, my shoulders, triceps are burning. A lot of effort there. If that's too difficult holding a dumbbell, just lift one hand off the ground and hold still. Okay. Now we're gonna go into some extensive work, meaning we're gonna work the back side of our body. A lot of the exercises we've been doing, the front and the sides, we are going into supermans. Now we wanna lift off and I do want you to hold from anywhere from like four to 10 seconds. I believe I'm doing five second holds here. Reaching out on the superman, my feet are coming off the ground. I'm trying to feel the muscles along the, the sides of my spine. My glutes are firing. I don't wanna be feeling this in my low, low back above my butt. Keep the chin down. I cannot stress this enough. Keep your chin down. Do not look up. If you are looking up, get your eyes on the ground and create a double chin. Like Get your chin to your chest and create a double chin. Five second holds. Nice, good firing, and I'm relaxing. You see me kind of shaking my body in between repetitions. I'm relaxing in between each repetition. My forehead is going all the way to the ground. You can see my forehead to the ground. I'm totally relaxing, and then lifting off here, squeezing the shoulder blades back and together. My feet are coming off the ground here still. It's okay to keep your feet on the ground when you do Supermans, or you can lift them off. Yeah, it really is variety is the spice of life. You can do whatever feels good for your body. But now we're just doing the Superman with the hands behind the ears. You can see I'm not interlinking my fingers behind the head because that's gonna pull on my neck and that's not gonna feel very good when you're pulling your neck down towards the ground. The whole idea is to flare the elbows, open up the chest, a little squeeze in the glutes and really feel those muscles fire 
along the sides of your spine. Now we're going into cobras. Look at my head on the ground. I'm totally relaxed in between each repetition. I'm losing tension as if I were just dead weight here. I'm totally relaxed and now re-squeezing those shoulder blades up and tight. All three of these exercises, the Superman with the overhead, the Superman behind the ears and the cobras are more important than all the exercises that have come before this. Because we spend a lot of time in flexion, these are extensive exercises that are gonna work muscles that don't get um, a whole lot of love per se. They don't get a lot of activation during the day because we're stuck looking at our phones, scrolling on World Star and you know, liking up everybody's face place posts. Um, so we don't get a lot of love on that backside and exterior, uh, posterior chain. So, okay, I suck at these. I'm just gonna say that first and foremost before I start. This is a um, straight leg, single arm Z press sit up. Straight leg, single arm Z press sit up. The dumbbell starts by your side, elbow bent, reach high, and then fight gravity on the way down. The big thing is not plopping, like letting your back just kind of plopping and hitting the ground. And it's a high overhead reach, so I'm using my core. I'm trying to keep my heels on the ground. You can see I'm not very good at this exercise. This is a challenging exercise. That's you know what I want to make sure I'm challenging you guys. Keep your heels on the ground. Do your best to keep them on the ground, not like me, and reach high overhead. I could probably go a little lighter on the dumbbell, and that would probably clean up my technique. But for the sake of YouTube, I need to show off and use a 20-pound super heavy dumbbell high reach slowly back down, do not plop. That's a big thing here. And it's all about just creating tension through the midsection. You can see my offhand is straight. I'm using it for a little bit of assistance. You know, I'm kind of shifting some weight forward so I can get my big ass off the ground and then reach overhead. When you're sitting up, you should kind of look like a letter L and a high reach to the roof. And once again, don't plop when you're, when you're on your way down. This is the straight <laughs> excuse me, straight leg uh, sit up Z press. Uh, an advanced exercise for sure. Make sure that you're using the, uh, the right size uh, dumbbell. Thus completes the eight ab exercise circuit. Let's remember guys, we are not going for time today. We are not going for repetitions either. We are doing everything based on feel. So take it right to almost before failure. Make sure that your form stays tight and stop right before failure. Your abs should be burning, but we should be able to maintain our form and technique. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, smash that like button if you guys enjoyed today's workout, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.